The Ultimate Fighting Championship has seen an incredible rise in popularity recently, currently being valued at almost $5 billion. It's due in no small part to the consistent profits made off of UFC wagers throughout the years. In today's video, we'll be talking about the most recent event in the UFC. That is, after falling short against Yan Xiaonan, Mackenzie Dern apologized to her fans for letting them down. First off, Mackenzie Dern could barely hold back her tears. Mackenzie Dern, who lost to Yan Xiaonan through a majority decision in the main event of UFC Vegas 61, fought back tears while addressing her latest defeat. Dern had two rounds before she was the better grappler, but was unable to submit Yan and had trouble with her opponent's stronger striking during the fight. This was the third consecutive fight in which Dern came close to finishing her opponent on the ground, but ultimately lost. The sportswomen said that she didn't compete as well as she had expected to. She believed that if she could get the fight off the ground, she would have finished it. She had numerous opportunities to win because of her superior jujitsu in the women's class. However, Xiaonan was simply the better fighter. It was frustrating for Dern. She couldn't bring her improved fighting skills to the ring. Now, for Dern's hopeful attitude for the future. The persistent player acknowledged that she still has a long way to go, but this is all part of her development as a fighter and and as a person. She expressed her undying gratitude to Dana White, the UFC, her team, and the Zuckerberg family for attending and helping to make the fight a success. The MMA fighter deeply regretted the fact that she had let her fans down. There are many people, including herself, who've always had faith in her. It brought her to tears thinking about how she disappointed them, but that's just how the game is. Despite getting them in poor positions on the ground during their fights, Dern still lost to Marina Rodriguez and Ticia Torres in successive matches. She has since admitted to needing to get a little bit meaner with her submissions. Dern had Yan in danger whenever the boat went to the ground, but she couldn't find the opportunity to lock on the submission, allowing Yan to escape. The ruthless athlete was prepared to break Yan's arm or put her to sleep. She already knew that Yan was a tough opponent and that she anticipated no easy tapping from her side. What's more, from a standing position, the Chinese fighter's strikes are quite powerful. After the first few blows, Dern knew she was in for a really hard hard fight but she was convinced her opponent would eventually submit to her. Her problem lay in the fact that she underestimated Yan's striking force. Coming up, Dern has learned from her previous matches. What she learned from her matches against Marina and Tisha was that she needs to improve her game. When you're up against the best of the best, you have to be prepared for anything. The athlete believes that the only way she can ensure victory in the future is to work harder. She aims to keep training, perfect her jiu-jitsu, be relentlessly combative, and sharpen her hitting. Dern's records slipped to 2-2 two two in her last four fights, and she's now virtually eliminated from title contention in the UFC strawweight division. The MMA fighter said that she hopes to take some time off after her long training camp for Yan and the fight on Saturday. She's promised her fans that she wouldn't stay away for too long because there's a lot of work ahead if she wants to start climbing back up the ranks again. The star athlete's desire to put an end to her struggles against the scale is a driving force. She's eager to demonstrate her dedication and professionalism. Let's look at how Dern lost to Xiaonan. Mackenzie Dern faced up against Yan Xiaonan, one of the most dominant strikers in the women's strawweight division. In a classic striker versus grappler match, Yan has trained in Sanda her whole life and holds a white belt in jiu-jitsu. She was Dern's first opponent with a purely striking focus on martial arts. Dern didn't go into her bout with the player thinking about a title defense, but it was certainly in the back of her mind. Dern hoped that her victory over Ticia Torres would help propel her into the top five, but we know that didn't happen. However, Xiaonan had other ideas for grappling with the superstar. Using her reach to her advantage, the Chinese-born athlete kept Dern at bay while repeatedly punching her face. Even while she was on the ground, Yan's defense was so strong that Dern never managed to submit to her. By the end of the first round, Dern managed to secure a clinch and takedown, but Yan got back on top and landed some solid punches before the round ended. As her self-assurance grew, Yan began to use her striking and footwork to close the distance, tag her opponent and escape when needed. She did more than enough in the first 25 minutes of the bout to earn the victory and end her two-fight losing streak. The beauty behind Yan's game lies in her excellent fainting. Finally, Mackenzie Dern has a lot of potential. Fans believe Dern hasn't reached her full potential yet, therefore she has a chance at a little battle one day. An essential component of her assault appears to be absent. The fighter's biggest problem in the octagon this far has been her inability to secure the knockout victory. In the past, due to her exceptional BJJ 
BJJ talents, Mackenzie Dern was named one of the most promising newcomers in the UFC. Dern made her debut in the UFC in her fifth professional MMA bout. That fact alone goes to show how much potential this athlete has and how much faith everyone has in her abilities. Comparisons to UFC legend Ronda Rousey were inevitable, given their same grappling skills. This bodes well for Dern's chances of recovering from her recent losses and becoming a major MMA champion. In other news, what's more, Sean O'Malley and Petr Jan are up for a key bantamweight fight. It was early in 2020. UFC President Dana White was praising the upcoming UFC 248 card at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas to a reporter. White finally paused and rattled off a number of the show's headliners and famous names. The list included Sean O'Malley. His bantamweight match against Petr Jan headlined Saturday's UFC 280 event at Etihad Arena in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. The two-fight UFC veteran believed O'Malley was destined for greatness, even though he was only 2-0 at the time White gave the interview. On July 18, 2017, O'Malley won a bout on Dana White's Contender Series via first-round knockout and made a special connection with the audience. Just a few weeks after the fight, the YouTube video of it had racked up 5 million views. Over 67,000 people have liked it, and there have been over 3,800 her comments made since it was uploaded. Up next, Yan Xiaonan is in title contention after a match with Mackenzie Dern. Yan Xiaonan defeated Mackenzie Dern by way of a majority decision on Saturday night at UFC Vegas 61. This victory allowed Yan to resume her position as a leading contender in the strawweight division. The 33-year-old athlete displayed incredible takedown resistance at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas. As a result, the battle transitioned into a back-and-forth exchange of blows between the two combatants. The bell rang when they were both both on their backs, sparing, but Xiaonan ended the round on top, landing ground and pound. This was after she had escaped an arm grip earlier in the round. Following the conclusion of the five rounds of competition, Dern, 29, attempted to hug Xiaonan. However, the Chinese martial artist was preoccupied with the fact that she had won the fight and had improved her chances of winning the title. Xiaonan, who began her UFC career with six consecutive victories, is now back on track after losing her previous two battles. Xiaonan began her UFC career with six straight victories. Lastly, the rise of MMA on pay-per-view. MMA is one of the most fascinating sports to watch for both die-hard and casual spectators. As a result, Ultimate Fighting Championship and others like it will become very successful businesses. Pay-per-view and other income streams make this type of market expansion viable. As one of the few sports where fans may witness some real action, the sport can draw great stars and keep people engaged. The bloody sport is experiencing a surge in popularity for pay-per-view events. In the past few years, there's been a rise in the overall number of PPV purchases. This means that UFC fights and other comparable events are attracting a larger audience that is prepared to spend money on tickets and merchandise. Most notably, the high-profile UFC competitors can now make half a million dollars or more each bout. When compared to the figures from just a few years ago, this represents substantial growth. The present trend shows that bouts and PPV purchases will continue to rise in popularity, particularly regarding UFC. That's a wrap for this video. Do you want to know more about the upcoming UFC matches? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.